Boulevard and welcome to the world premiere of Marvel's Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Fans have been waiting for this one for, let's be honest, decades. The premiere of the MCU's first Asian-led superhero movie. What does it mean to you for the diaspora to be in this role on this red carpet today? It is such an incredible honor. It is absolutely that watershed moment. I mean, there's so many people here. They're, everyone's so excited and I'm fired up to show this movie to the world but uh, I hope that there are many more just like it afterwards. Working with this cast and working with this crew uh, was was really special to me. I've, I've never been on set with so many people with a similar background um, as me, where we can talk about the funny, weird things that our grandparents do. Um, and it, it was it was actually very emotional to, to go through this experience. I've been writing movies professionally for 19 years somehow, and to sit down in these rooms and suddenly be overwhelmed by emotions. What's happening here? Why do I feel this way? And the reason is because I've never been in a room like this. I've never had the experience of sharing stories with people like me in these rooms. It's always me explaining my story so that you can understand this thing that you seem to not understand. If I was a kid and I saw him as a superhero, I think that it would affect me and impact me. So I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it as an adult. This isn't diversity for sake of diversity. This is diversity for the sake of authenticity. They're trying to tell a cool story. This is the demographic that reflects society right now. What's happening with diversity and representation across the board with Marvel in front of, behind the camera in terms of the writers and directors that they're assembling is uh, astonishing, exciting, and inspiring. With the, the black community having their Black Panther moment, and you know, I mean, incredible, incredible. We're, we're equal to when we're having ours, you know? And I'm um, really, really excited. I mean, Simu is just such an incredible leading man. And, um, you know, we've got all these iconic veterans within Michelle Yeoh and Tony Leung. Hey, look, I'm sort of fanboying in, in, in many different levels. We've been thinking and dreaming about making a Shang-Chi movie for the entirety of the two decades that I've been at, at Marvel. And you've seen in the MCU beginning hints of that with the 10 rings in Iron Man 1, a little hint of 10 rings in Iron Man 2. The infamous twist in Iron Man 3, where it actually talked about the villain and, and pulled the rug out. And even in a little short film we did uh, uh, called All Hail the King, exactly. And, uh, and it's fun that, that, again, that's all just background to what this film is really about, which is an origin story of a new Marvel hero in Shang-Chi. We are not the experiment, we are the surprise. Why was it important to share that message and, and what has the reaction been and what do you feel like has gotten across from that tweet? I just wanted people to know how fired up I was for this movie. I mean, I, I, it's been a tough, tough time for everybody and uh, I think sometimes it's, it's just so important to get messaging through that's just, it's, it's emotional, you know, it's raw and it just shows the world just how much, you know, I and we all believe in this movie and how incredible it's going to be. It's truly going to change the world. In light of what's been going on with all the xenophobia against Asians, I think it's time that shows that we can, uh, you know, kick a little you know what. It's bittersweet because there is this reality that um, has been, you know, uh, these horrible events coupled with this kind of like really, really rough year. And I think um, what, I, what I know is that we need to come together in, in those times in empathy and understanding. And I think that, uh, you know, when we have stories like this, I think that it offers that. We are better when we work together and our differences is what makes us stronger. And we believe that, that's why MCU is what it is. We believe that you can be incredibly strong and do right, even if you are X, Y, or Z. So that doesn't take away from creating a character that exudes um, courage. And with courage comes Shang-Chi. It's just massively important that people are able to see Asian faces on screen, in the big screen, in a major way, alongside a Captain America or a Tony Stark. It sounds like a minor thing, I know, to a lot of people who haven't sort of lived the life of not growing up with any sort of Asian representation on screen. What superhero am I supposed to dress up as? Who's the Asian rock star I'm supposed to want to play like? You know, it's, it's an ongoing evolution and it feels like we're starting to get somewhere and this is a really big step. Maybe the, I mean, as far as movies go, I don't know who does it bigger than Marvel, so. Shang-Chi could become the new uh, moral center of the Marvel Universe now that Captain America is, is gone for the moment. All right, I, yeah. like, I like that road for him. I like that path. Yeah, well, I mean, it's up to them to do it, but if I was writing the scripts, 
I'd be heading in that direction. Shang-Chi with the Ten Rings and martial arts. I think martial arts in its own is a discipline and being here doing kick-ass martial arts, uh, paying homage to Jackie Chan, Donnie Yen, Jet Li, Bruce Lee, I think this film encapsulates it all. Our team of action designers and choreographers led by uh, Brad Allen, um, who actually came out of Jackie Chan's camp, uh, they, they were extraordinary and they, they helped paint these beautiful choreographed fight sequences. I'm using adjectives to describe these fight sequences that I've, I would never expect to use. Like I, I describe them as beautiful and emotional. Some are hilarious. Um, some are modeled after, after Buster Keaton like physical comedy. Um, and then some are so spectacular and, and full of Marvel pizzazz. I didn't have too much skills to share, to show off to begin with, but with the trainings, we had over, I personally had over a month of training every day full time, um, like, you know, packed with different types of training. And I got trained by the world champion of that type of martial arts. My favorite part of the training was the massage we get at the end of the week. That was just amazing. I didn't have any martial arts background before this film, so they flew me four months early to train, and they really trained us hard. You can hear Simu and I screaming in the stunt stage from a mile away. But I did punch him in the face, whoops. I, I, I didn't mean to, but I, I did enjoy- She didn't mean to. I did enjoy that moment, sorry. <laughs> Simu is a, a special person, a special performer. Um, I, I honestly don't think anybody else could have played this role the way that he did. He brought so much humor, humanity, um, so much charisma, and just badassness. Both on screen and off screen, to be honest with you. He's proven that he is ready to, uh, to step into and has embodied uh, a new Marvel hero, and we're lucky to have him. He's got the stunt ability, the guy's got the flipping. He can do flips, he can do like a standing backflip. Can you? No, I can't. No, who can do that? No one on this red carpet can do that. Except for maybe, okay, okay, there's like 10 people. This is a bad example, but he has he has a very special skill set to, to be that character. That thing about Asians having to work twice as hard, he didn't even have a suit. <laughs> he, he, he had his birthday suit, and so he had to rock his abs, you know? Uh, I've only got one barrel, you know, he's got like an eight pack. I do want to ask you about a couple of your previous collaborators. They have been in the MCO before. You have Brie, you have Michael B. Jordan, two friends of yours. Did you ask for one piece of advice about joining this MCU fold? And if so, what was that piece of advice? I mean, the first thing I asked Brie um, and Michael B. and Ryan Coogler was, should I do this? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, uh, uh, they all said yes. Um, what what was really hung with me was something that Ryan told me, which was, yes, it is stressful. Yes, there there is a lot of pressure, but none of that comes from the people that you are working with. Um, the the group of people who are behind this studio and behind this movie are they're incredibly special and supportive, and so creative and really. They, they're like kids, they love to explore, they're curious about each scene, they want, to, they want to explore those scenes and characters until they're the best they can be. And it's all out of the love of all these fans. What is the one thing that you want people to take away from Shang-Chi when they get a chance to see it in theaters? Um, it is a celebration of culture, it's a celebration of coming of age, it's a celebration of, of so many things, and it's also, by the way, got some of the most incredible action sequences you've ever seen. Print it. And you're not wearing a mask, so we all know it's you. It, no mask, no armor, no, you know, no cape, so that's it. What you see, what you get. You're like a real-life superhero, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs>